Don't make me do it. Don't make me go back to that campaign. Oh, God. Hello. Welcome to RimWorld. Uh, today. Today, my friends, you have voted on yet another mod to go into the legendary advent calendar of Joris. Yesterday, door 16, we had, that's right, Antimatter Annihilation. Today, door 17 behind Joruto is Werewolves. Rim of Madness Werewolves, which is going to be an interesting Christmassy twist. That's my favorite Christmas story where the family gets mangled by werewolves. Door 18 is a double door day. Do not forget blue number days, day 18, day 24 are double mod, double extravaganza, and double the chance to break the save game. So I will be taking two mods that have been highly upvoted. Now I'm changing the system very slightly going forward here just so that I can start recording a little bit earlier. Um, basically with these current episodes, because I have to wait for you guys to obviously vote and because I want to give you guys a decent chance to actually vote on them, um, I generally have to delay my recording time by like four or five hours. So to make up for that, what I'm going to do going forward here is I'm going to take mods from... The, this is very confusing to try and explain, but two days previous, does that make sense? So then a video has definitely been up for a full 24 hours before I take the mod from it. So hopefully that makes some sense. Um, so that way it'll also give me a chance to kind of record in advance so that I can actually have Christmas Day off. Because I think one day off a year is, um, is acceptable. But what am I talking about? Of course, you're all here to see what is on day 18. It is... John Eris Bongarian, legendary uh, dragon queen polar bear. That one's not a very good one, is it? That was not a very good one. <laughs> Sorry, just to try and clarify what I was talking about at the start there, what, what I do is I record generally about six hours after the episode goes live. Otherwise, it's more or less impossible to hit the daily schedule. Bear in mind, I'm doing five edited videos a day right now. Um, and Rimworld always takes priority, so I always like to do that one first, just in case there are any problems with editing, or, or you know how it goes. Um, so to ensure that I've got enough time to do that and everything else, I generally record this one kind of six hours after it goes live. The problem with that is it's not really enough time to give everybody a chance to vote, and it very much favours those of you in my time zone kind of up to um, afternoon American time. So what I want to do is tr to, to avoid that in the future is obviously give you guys that full 24-hour period. That's all. I just thought it would be a bit more fair doing it this way and it means i have the bonus of being able to record a lot bit earlier than i normally would so here's what i'm gonna do this is a fucking clusterfuck i think we can all agree it's horrible it's horrible to try and play it's horrible to look at and i hate every moment of it that's obviously not true but what i'm gonna do is i'm i think i'm just gonna blitz ahead as fast as possible right real just speed five through this and, and and get rid of these guys as soon as possible. Send them on their merry fucking way so that we can focus back on our 11 people. Someone brought a really good point to the table, though. Some of these guys are incapable of work, sure, but some of them are magical, and transcribing scrolls doesn't count as work. At least I've been told. If I'm wrong, you can blame the person that told me. Um, so in theory, what we could do is we can get, like, Nats or whatever to make the unfinished books. Then we get the mages of the class that we want to copy. This guy, for example, is a paladin. We might want to steal that power. This guy is a monk. Uh, this one is a geomancer. We've got a another priest if we want another priest. We've got oh, that is our character. Ignore me. Um, we've got, like, woodsman here. We've got uh, another woodsman, actually. One of them is really fancy that I've never actually seen before. Oh, there's faceless. I want to know which one adds... Um, this stuff here. I've never actually seen this before. I wish I knew who was doing that. Do you think we can tell from kind of the area of effect? No, I can't. Um, I'm going to track down who uses those powers. Is it you? Bright Mage. Hey, what what the hell is a Bright Mage? I've not seen a Bright Mage either. Well, look, like I was saying, there's plenty to get here. Um, oh, there you are. Commander. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we can scribe all of these down and that gives these guys actually something to... They, they can kind of pay their way a little bit, seeing as they are incapable of working. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's done it. Soriel has recruited the cat girl. Now, I'm being very careful not to show off the cat girl or to jump to location or anything because it's, apparently they've added textures to uh, the naked cat girl that aren't present in base game RimWorld. So, I cannot zoom in on that for fear of getting my channel clapped into the ground. The big problem with that is, A, okay, it's a fucking cat girl. B, she's naked uh, with actual, you know, like, body parts uh, anatomically correct. The worst part is the next name on my list of Patreon names. 
Somebody has suggested in their infinite wisdom. Dong Excelente. Dong Excelente. Uh, the vampiric brother of a character from a second channel series that we play through Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines is Cock Excelente. We've got a naked cat girl called Dong Excelente. I just need to... I just need to take that in for a second. Oh, God, what terrible phrasing. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, where are they? This is the raid, isn't it? This is the big one. Do we have the anti-grain warhead still? Santa, do me a favor. Nuke them. She, Mr. Streamer, I think you'll find that it's a grain of antimatter and therefore it's an app. <laughs> Stop writing that comment right now. Stop it. Stop it. You know who you are. Nuke them. Bring them down. Just kill them dead. Why are some of them, like, independent wild women? What the fuck? They've, like, bought an army of... Oh, my God. Is she one of the people I'm supposed to defend? Yes. Good. <laughs> Good. Uh, run. Run. Fucking run. No. Hide. Hide, hide, fucking hide. You're behind embrasures. I trust Santa's nuking abilities. Again, they're not nukes. I'm well aware. Okay, I'm well aware. Thank you. Um, no, no, no. I have only Santa fire it. I, tr I trust him the most. Right, where is that going, Santa Claus? How about we fire it there, pal? What is that they've bought with them? Oh, it's a whale more in a dress. Uh, it seems like it's a human skin dress. It was alpaca wool. Sorry, I very much overestimated them. What the hell is going on with this faction? Ultra tech snipers. They've got hyper components. That's what we need. Hyper components are the things that let you build the antimatter annihilation buildings. So let's see if... Let's see if we can kill them and get some of their components. Oh! Live. Oh my god, did he just wipe them all out in a single shot? Fuck. Fuck, really? <laughs> They're all gonna drown. They're, they're all actually just going to drown. <laughs> There's a survivor. Tell your friends what you saw and remember the name Santa Claus. What do you mean you've heard of him before? Well, that doesn't sound nearly as cool, does it? This has got a venomous bio... What is that? Toxic build up by... Oh, that's cool. Oh my god, there's a lot of infused gear. I need to make sure they're not smelting infused gear. Wow, that literally could not... Stop, 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 stop. That literally could not have gone any better. That was, I was incredible. That was, that was life altering. Now we send Santa up to behead them all. Why are some of them not drowning? Like this guy's not drowning. Life threatening coma. But he's, 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 he's alive though. I guess he floats. We all float down here. Except for that time Santa drowned. He definitely does not float. Get over here. Start beheading them. If this isn't Christmas, I, don't, I honestly don't know what is. Behead them all. Behead them all. Increase the beheading radius. What have we done to this game? Do not touch them. Do not touch them. Let Santa have his way. I think we're going to get a single quickening. Come on, Santa. You've got to get one out of this lot, surely. No way. Every single one of them beheaded, right? I can't see any that I've missed. I mean, didn't get a single quickening. Maybe the Ultra Tech people can't be... Oh my god, we got 10 Hyper Components. The cool thing about the Hyper Components is... Because Division H are quite technically advanced... Um, I mean, evidently, they've got weapons here I literally do not even recognize. What the hell is that? Narc revolver. No idea. Heavy lasers. Laser miniguns. Karambits. They've got some really weird shit. Uh, because they're so highly advanced, their components are invincible. B because I assume, much like what we did there, when you're fighting enemies this powerful, you probably just want to bomb them from a distance, right? Holy shit, they bought 20 kilos of medicine. That's actually huge. Unless they're gathering to celebrate Rudolph and Raptor Jesus' marriage. Oh! I was going to say happy birthday, but I don't think that's what you say at marriage. Just Christmas, Joris is there awaiting his uh, final barnet leg operation. You know what? Get up, Joris. Come and enjoy the wedding. They're going to wait for everybody to turn up because that is going to take fucking ages. Glad Dong Excelente had the uh, common decency to put on some fucking clothes here. Wow, look at this reception. Oh, pigs in blankets turned up. Hello. Uh, who's getting married again? Rudolph? Where, where is Rudolph? Has he got cold feet? He's, he, hang on, he's busy smelting. Okay, he's here. Rudolph and Raptor Jesus, right? The classic combo. Oh, Raptor Jesus is miles away. Hold on. Don't panic. She's on her way. Oh, the wedding's been called off. The wedding's been called off because of the animus scream. 
She's like, no, I just can't handle this today. After all that long and difficult fighting, it's understandable that that would be just a little bit too much, you fucking coward. Uh, well, hey, we got gut worms, which sucks. 13 of our colonists. Uh, that's not really a big deal, though. Obviously, gut worms isn't life or death. We did, however, get safety Santa, which is fantastic news because hopefully he will keep me safe and happy. Well, I know he'll kind of do some of that. He'll send us a lot of trade caravans, which is pretty poignant given that we've got next to no food. I've genuinely had Corrupt and Rudolph cooking literally nonstop to try and get enough food for them. It is... It's ridiculous. It is so difficult to keep on top of the food demand for a 30-person colony when only what, like 13 of them are actually capable of growing crops and only two of them are capable of cooking. Keep cooking. Just keep cooking. Just never stop. They're so fucking hungry all the time. <laughs> it never ends. Started just accelerating strawberries en masse so that we could just try and grow as much food as possible that doesn't require the cooks because there's only so long before... No! There's only so long before... Poor Rudolph and Corrupt are just gonna... They're just gonna break. They just simply will not be able to keep up with this. So I'm I'm trying to grow as many strawberries as fast as I can. We should get, like, um one of the mana batteries out here to help out. What I've decided to do to make up for the fact that whenever we tie our settlements, it obviously costs us a fortune to maximize our our tide. You know, to get the maximum amount of steel, it's like minus 5,000 per go. So I decided, let's just go pure profit for this cycle and install a new base. So we got actually really, really lucky here. Um, it was Fingerville. Uh, one of them, maybe he sent his tribute. Uh, one of them got a bonus. Yeah, there you go, to base production, which means we pulled in like 15,000 silver in, in one tech session. So what we'll do is we'll set up a, a new settlement out there in the world, just again, dedicated to profit so that we can pay off some of our tithes. Now it's pointed out to me on Discord that if we were to build a... A settlement over here, like here specifically, the settlements build bridges. You can see that they've done it right here. They've obviously built a bridge across the uh, 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 across the sea there. So we could put like a settlement here and just have it connect up to our base. And then we can attack Division H whenever we wanted to. New settlement's called Rudosa. Oh, we've got to call it Rudolfsa. That's way better. How did I spell Rudolph in this? Uh, with, a, with a PH? Oh no, with an F. Rudolfsa. What a place. So this place is actually kind of appropriate because it's one of its bigger profits is in animals. You see the base value is animals, wood, um, meals there as well, and, and, and research. So I guess Rudolph's going for animal production is quite appropriate. There we go. What else have we got here? I've not actually built an animal. Well, I think we have once, but as far as I recall, they're not as as productive as say for example just pure mining because you get that base much higher um deforestation camp 25 cents to logging animals perfect everybody loves a good bit of deforestation oh it's a party oh they're having their marriage there we are i wonder what the fuck every literally every single person stopped working and all flooded over into here there we are oh what a lovely marriage right next to the machining table and the vomit fucking phenomenal <laughs> oh, safety Santa already throwing us an exotic goods trader. What a start. Right, Santa. R no, 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 not Santa. Fucking Kiwi. Uh, not regular Santa. Who is our trader? Solon, right? Uh, yeah, 10.6. It's still not fantastic, but it's better than, uh, better than old Santa. What have you got for me? Any ex- Oh, I don't know which ones we've got. What the hell is the Zorg SZF1? That's that crazy gun with multiple firing modes, isn't it? Kind of want that. Uh, Blood Moon, Knee Spikes, Slayer's Mark, Fungi Nose. Tragically, not a lot of this is very good. Um, Synchronizing Legendary. Oh, look at that. I didn't even realize we had that. Uh, single use canister containing mechanized program to enhance an equipment. Oh, cool. Uh, I, I do want to buy these things, but I'll make sure we haven't already got them. Same with the psychic powers. You can't. Oh, wow. Hyper components are 212 apiece. Fucking hell. We've actually been here all day. This party has gone on all day. Will you people get back to fucking work? We haven't even got the bedrooms. Oh, well, we've mostly got the bedrooms built. Oh, God, the food. We're down to seven loaves again. Jesus, it just never ends. So we're currently sitting at about halfway through the quest. What I'm doing in the background here, while I'm just basically waiting for the last of the bedrooms to be done, which I think was actually that right there. I'm sitting here and basically spamming abilities. Uh, and draining the manner of the guests that we've got here because between all of them They can more or less keep this thing topped up 
kind of ad infinitum, almost. I uh, as long as Natsu goes off and does something for like a couple of hours, when he comes back, it's it's got enough mana back topped up again. So I'm just basically grinding levels with Natsu, which I know is a bit bizarre to do in Rimod, but it's so easy to do when you have one of these and this many fucking mages. Now specifically, I'm trying to get him up to level 20. The reason I'm trying to get them up to level 20 is when they hit level 20, they get the ability to teach other mages. So for a little mana, they can give someone a huge amount of experience. They themselves gain experience. You gain experience when you do any mana ability. Uh, and I've, I've taught a few of them blink. Obviously, we queued up those scrolls. So as they're teleporting around just doing work, they're gaining more mana from that. Are okay, we out of food again? Oh my god, we are. I was going to say, why the hell is there a dead bison in the hospital? But they've been feeding it to the, the, the patients. Uh, Rudolph? We've got an Olympus flower. Oh, fuck. This is insane. Um, what if we start putting more people on fishing? And then we just go cook simple meals in bulk. I think I have to. I think I have to. Okay, uh, let's go do and select where X is, I don't know, fucking 50. And then n never pause. I don't think we're going to be able to keep on top of it if we if we do. Right, do something like that. We're, hopefully we can cook this po mana into, into a meal. Um, I'm gonna have to set up fishing zones because I think otherwise we are all just gonna start starving to death now Well, hopefully that'll put a little bit of a dent in The the starvation that we've got going on who'd have thought that even with there was me saying oh safety center This will be fine. This will make things easy a nice break Meanwhile, everybody's fucking starving to the extent that we're feeding patients an entire fucking bison I, I, I Remind me never to take a cross like this again because holy shit logistically it, it, it is harder than void. Jesus. <laughs> 2,878 Magicite. Well, that should just about do it. Bear in mind, I'm trying to get Natsa to make these torn scripts so that we can teach our people the, the, the skills that some of these really cool classes have. Um, I was actually only going to make torn scripts because they're cheaper, but now we've got so much Magicite. I guess we could change tactics slightly. So which one do I want? I want the Bright Mage. I definitely want the Paladin. I definitely want the Manager or whatever it's called. The Commander. Paladin. Uh, Monk, I'm not really too bothered by. Bright Mage, I've never played before. Commander is great. You've got Geomancer there too. I suppose we could get a Geomancer. Ideally, I'd like them all. But obviously, we should prioritize here. Because it's still going to take a little while to get some of these things together. Oh, you're a Scout, not a Ranger. Or a Woodsman or whatever they're called. 9.9 .9 days before they depart. So we're into the last kind of uh, three-fifths here. Thank God. There is some good news to come out of this, and that's the fact that we've basically converted all of them to the, uh, to the cult of Krampus. I think everybody's cult-mindedness is, is decently high. Raptor Jesus had a mental break and, and lost all of his cult-mindedness. But for the most part, I mean, some of these people are, are well up for it. Look. <laughs> this is so good. They stayed with us for like a, like a week and a bit, and now they're full-on proselytized. Oh, safety Santa, you bitch. Okay. That's quite unlikely to happen with Safety Santa, but to be fair, it has been, I was going to say ages, but it's actually only been a couple of days in game because of the, how fucking slow everything's going. Uh, we have an Entergrain Warhead loaded. Now's, now's the time to use it. Empire, Division P, I, I think it's just a, it's, it's a necessary expenditure. Total location out of range. No, it fucking isn't. I can see it, you weird man. Right, blink over, blink over. Go, 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 move, move, move. <gasps> They've got a gun that can hit from all the way over there. Hey, dude, uh, fucking run. Oh my god, look at that thing. Santa, 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 Santa. <laughs> Santa. Uh, fucking kill them all. Oh my god, they've got the same armor as us. Look at that. Is that the gun he's got? Accurate. Yeah, 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 the hyper, hyperboloid. We've used those before. Those things are insane. Well, we most specifically used them during the Robo Daddy series, I think it was. Kill them all. Nuke them dead. No! It wasn't enough. Um, right, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, uh, you've got Fire Claw. You've only got two points. Oh, shit. Um, what do I do here? I think I send Santa in. Fuck. Oh, God, we've got to be careful here. Soriel might be able to get through their armor. Or maybe we fire another... Let's fire a nuke. Rather than Ant's Grain Warhead, let's fire a nuke. Hang on. Let's just see if this is uh, a good way to quickly take him out. Go, Santa. We'll send Sori Allen as, uh, as kind of backup. The lasers are getting them. They're also fucking ripping through my walls. In one shot, they just knocked out an entire steel embrasure. Santa. 
Santa for the love of fuck. Fire the nuke, Santa. Sorry, I was getting peppered. Careful, careful, careful. Fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, good luck. You know what? I think he actually got a couple. Oh, Jesus. Get out of there. If that thing hits, you are going to fucking know about it. Go. Oh, no. The fire claw hit the bloody sandbags. Rudolph, get back. Get back. Get back. Fucking hell. We don't want to be hit by that thing because it just basically instantly destroys whatever it hits. How long till that nuke's going, Santa? I think that's a bad target, but we'll see how it goes. As long as they don't move too far from there, it might be enough just to force a retreat, which ultimately is all I want here. He whiffed it. He completely whiffed it. Okay, um... Fuck. Let's send Santa... Oh, but if Santa goes down again, I'm going to have to resurrect him with Arctic, and then he's going to lose... His Sorry, I just got taken down in a single shot. Fuck. Um... Send in the Rudolph? <laughs> yeah. Maybe we could get in... Who's... Where's the one with that crazy fucking laser? If we could kill them... Is it you? It's not you. Uh... Why can't I see them? Am I going mad? You. Jefferson. Rudolph, you've got a target. You take out Jefferson. Brother. Oh, no. Ball, 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 ball. Okay, okay. We've got to be careful that they just don't kill the others. That's all I care about. Right, get in there. Oh, he just used all his bloody energy on... Oh, God. He used all his energy on... On Tempest, right? I didn't realize that was a ranged ability. It was just a random scroll that we got from somebody. God knows who. Fucking Santa, run. Santa. Good hits, good hits. That's still not enough to force a retreat, though. And that guy with that fucking crazy weapon is so far away, we actually can't get to him. Come south a little bit. Fucking look at it. It's ridiculous. Good shot there, Santa. Oh my god, I thought they were fleeing. Holy shit, Arctic just got knocked down. Will you people fuck off? I swear to god, the more I fucking draft him and send away, the more come over here. Fuck off. I guess because the fishing spot goes free, right? Oh, I wonder why the fishing spot is free. Morons. Right, go forward, go forward. I think we're gonna have to charge him with Santa. What the hell happened there? That was that was their ability. It looks impressive, but it's Oh, what a shot. Okay, where is he? Get close. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost in range. Fuck, that was a direct hit, and Santa was wearing that super, super OP armor. And it still almost killed him. Fuck me, that is insane. Scott, sorry, can I borrow that? Because that seems like that could be a lot of fun. What a hit. I think he incinerated it, though. That's a real shame. Santa, come on. Come on. Just stay, stay awake. Oh, God. Come on, Santa. Pull it through. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Holy fuck. You can do it. Okay. Okay. Um, Reverse time on yourself. I don't know if this works, but I'm... Oh, he's up. He's up. He's up. Equip the BFG again. Right. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Finish them off. Nice. Nice. Done. That was ridiculous. <laughs> what the fuck are we supposed to do against that stuff? No weapon we've got is capable of keeping up with that. I wonder if those are at the top of the... They're probably not at the top of the DPS over accuracy, but they are almost certainly in terms of maybe like range. Um, What was it called? The hyper... Oh, craftable? Hyper, hyper, hyper. Laser sniper rifle. Um, This is not even on here. Maybe because we actually can't build them yet. That thing was ridiculous. I was able to hit us from a mile away. Oh, who got damaged then? Soriel is in a lot of trouble. Played down 20 hours. Actually, Soriel isn't in that much trouble. Arctic, where are you? Uh, Somewhere. There you are. Come over here. Tend to him. Get him back up. Well, holy shit. That has genuinely taken. I started recording this episode at 10 to 10 p.m. Uh, So 21.50. It's currently 58 minutes past midnight. Four fucking hours of constant speed four to go through what was it like 20 days holy crap that was hell <laughs> that was pure chaos luckily we were raided twice in that time or was it three times whatever luckily the raids were, were sparse and unconcerning we had nukes stockpiled so luckily we were able to obviously take out both of those raids fairly safely but Holy shit, remind me never, ever, ever to accept anything like this again. 
That was god awful. Thank you. Fuck off. Leave. Leave forever and never come back. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that was awful. That was okay. Well, obviously, wasn't that bad, but it was not. You just can't really get much done with this point because it's overwhelming the amount of shit to juggle. Like, the schedule alone is a complete fucking clusterfuck. The bedrooms and the food, it was just a case of getting a kind of baseline across the colony and just training people where I could in magic, and that was basically it. Who the hell are we waiting on? Aurora, please get out of here. What about the, um, oh, we got cats right time. To be fair, that is one thing we did achieve, and it's a shitload of research, like a staggering amount of research. So I assume after the other guys leave, then the, oh, nice. Then, uh, these guys will leave as well, I hope. I pray. I didn't lose a single person. And more importantly, there was a bonus rate for keeping them above 50% mood. Look, 60%. Um, I, I gave them a bunch of drugs on the last couple of days here. <laughs> Which definitely helped out. Six still trainers and enough uranium to replenish our nuke supply. Fuck off. Holy shit. Look at it. We can see our people. Oh my god, it's game changing. It really is truly game changing. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. So long. And quite literally, thanks for all the fish. Now I can finally take stock of everything that's going on here. So the only non-magical slash non-fighter character we have is Wendigo. So why don't we teach him? I like the idea of teaching him the commander. Because that is that's kind of cool. I had to make a, a martial book for this one, which I didn't realize at the time. Uh, so this one seems to offer just a bunch of passive bonuses, which is exactly what you'd want, right? He's not really a, a, a leader character of the colony, but, you know, he's got good melee. I, I guess he has uh, some military training, perhaps, that he can he can help unify our people with. Let's fucking train him up. Right, I need some uh, some gem crafting then, don't we? We need physical insight. And I want to start making some of these too, because my god, we've stockpiled a lot of magicite while we were waiting. I don't know how we can see it all. Is it on here? 3,360. So we can turn out just a fucking bunch of these. Read combat style commander. And now we can turn Wendigo. Oh, look at this. This is really cool. So I've not actually seen this class before, but it seems if everything is just a passive ability, improves rest and reduces hunger of nearby pawns, can be improved to repair equipment, increase natural healing rates, and boost energy regen. Whoa. Greater good. Uh, increases work speed, eating speed, and carry capacity, but causes pawns to be less social. Interesting. Mask of the Commander. Improves mood of all nearby pawns, but decreases their productivity. Okay, so that's one that we wouldn't necessarily want always. Got it. Um, the Commander will seek out pawns that broke down due to mental stress and give them a motivational speech. Oh, kind of like the snap out of it mod. Command presence. Uh, issues a command for all nearby pawns to stay alert. They instantly gain rest and have increased sight. That's very, very cool. This is a really cool idea, actually. To be honest, Provisioner, to me, because it repairs um, equipment, heals, it boosts energy regen. That would help out all the mages, everybody who can learn blink. This seems like the superior one just to keep enabled all the time. So I'm absolutely going to turn that one on. And I might even focus all of his upgrades on that fairly early on too. Oh, look at this. So that weapon that we saw before was called the hy Hyperboloid, the Hyperboloid, whatever. Um, isn't actually on the list yet. Uh, even even with craftable turned on. So it, I, I assumed it would maybe show all potential weapons in the game with that. But it doesn't show things still a lot behind research. I might do a, a, a secondary save and just unlock all the research and see what the actual end game weaponry actually is to aim for. Because we've got so many mods here. I don't know whether it be a 40k weapon, an antimatter annihilation weapon, one of these silly cat guns that we've picked up. You know, the Nyaron race weaponry, which seemed very, very powerful. I, mean, I don't want to just be blindly researching if it ends up, you know, 99.9% .9 of it is... Uh, outclassed by something else, you know? We probably have a, a fairly decent amount of points to spend on our people as well. I'm so glad all those people are gone. Like, I, I can't even begin to describe it. It means I can finally check all our people and, and get back control of everything. So, enhanced weaponry. I mean, that weapon is always already, like, one of the most powerful that we've got. What happens if we hit the BFG 9000 with an advanced version? We can, No matter what the most powerful weapon in the game is, it technically isn't because his ability would make a stronger version. So Solon is is our strongest character and always will be just by virtue of this power if we keep upgrading it. I kind of like that idea in hindsight. Okay, let's go for that then. Um, our mighty death knight here. Um, I've got to remember here. So I think, what was it? 
One of these increases hate passively, and that's the really useful one. Yeah, look at this. Increase the amount of hate generated when the Death Knight is wounded by 10%. So this guy has stamina, and he also has this system of hate to kind of uh, attack back. I'm going to go for that one. If we strap him into some really good armor and stick him on the Vanguard right on the front line, he'll get damaged, generate hate, and in turn be able to retaliate, obviously, a lot more... A lot more severely there. Now, I've actually been stockpiling Mr. Cake's points so that we could get this Eye of the Storm spell, which I've been told is pretty devastating. A little bit something like that, specifically. I love the idea of our strongest knockout character, like the biggest glass cannon we've got here, Mr. Cake, the Mushroom Man. <laughs> it's just something so good about that. What have we got here? Frequency of the eye of the eyes, lightning strikes, 20% per level increases damage of each strike by 20%. That's insane. Drain atmosphere, use the energy of atmosphere to fuel the creation. Storm reduces mana by 5% per skill level. Okay, like I said, I want him as kind of a knockout character though. And what is it? Well, it's 65 to cast it once, and he's only got 100 mana. So even if we knock that down by 5% per skill level, it's not enough to... Wait, it would be enough to cast it twice, fool. It's 15%. Okay, that's uh, potentially quite good then, isn't it? Perfect storm. Increase the radius. We, I, th I think going all in on the damage to start off with is the better play. 61.8 now. So if we get two more of those and then one like um, focus, he can cast it twice per raid then in theory. Zerato, I want to go all in on Fireclaw because Fireclaw is like disturbingly good against big groups of enemies. Uh, you, I want healing to be honest because healing is is so so nice to have and we've only really got one healer that of course being arctic right now we do have the paladin scroll so i made a paladin scroll and earth scroll uh and i actually think that was it oh bright mage too of course but we actually don't have the people we do have still those two fucking elves in the prison who will just not get recruited resistance remaining has been zero for fucking ages 8.4 for ages they're just not we're just getting super, super unlucky, and they're not actually breaking. To be fair, we don't have any super good social characters, I will admit. Let me recruit those guys. Then we can uh, then we can obviously use those other two classes we've got there. Uh, Rudolph. Rudolph, Rudolph, Rudolph. I like Whirlwind. Um, his weapon isn't really heavy, though, anymore, is it? It's a bloody lightsaber, so that's... I don't even know how that would work with that. Maybe it doesn't work at all. This might be even the worst weapon to give to Rudolph. I might, have, I might swap him back for his... Um... So the Demon Scale Saber, I did this during all of the chaos... Uh, I extracted an infusion, an infusion we got from that first raid that was kind of up here with the Division H or whatever they're called, and implanted it into this. So this gives, um, stun and toxic damage. I might go ahead and give that back to Rudolph, because it's also quite a heavy weapon, bread in mind it's made of, like, demon skin, and then we'll give this to Raptor Jesus, Rudolph's wife. <laughs> but yeah, much better, especially because Raptor Jesus is, uh, is a mage as well. So it can kind of fire off these magic missiles and has the lightsaber power there too. Uh, speaking of which, so what, what else have we got for you then? You're good. Raptor Jesus up next then. Um, I've got Blink kind of high. 10%. It decreased it by another 40% and then she would just blink everywhere all the time. Summons, summons objects to them. Very, very good for crafters, but not so relevant for Raptor Jesus who is essentially just a, a farmer. Um, teleport is good for sending things a long distance. I kind of like the idea of going magic missile too. This is quite a difficult choice, actually. Let's go Magic Missile. Sure, let's give you a long-range weapon. Uh, and then you can obviously close in with the lightsaber when you run out of power there. Um, you, what are we going for with you? We're going all in on provision, all right? Effectiveness of all aspects. This reduces the activation cost, which isn't super relevant. Uh, and this one adds new abilities to it. So I assume this one maybe gives it 5%, 10%, whatever. And then this one makes, you know, adds those abilities on. The two in tandem is obviously... Probably what we should min-max early on. Let's go for... I think let's go across the board. Try and get as many buffs as possible. Then make them more and more powerful. Yeah, I like that. What about you? God, this is too much to manage already, isn't it? Um, You've got just a Gladius. We need a much better weapon for you. Very tempted to make a chainsaw. I won't lie. The idea of a cat girl going into battle with a demon chainsaw is phenomenal. I also want to give her all the tentacles. For the fairly... For the fairly obvious reason. Oh, shit. We maximize grapple with her. She pulls them in with her big old tentacles. That's fucking cursed. I love it. Finally, Arctic. Uh, I, I still like the idea of going all in on Resurrection early. I know I said I wanted a healer. But this way, if anything happens to Santa, we can bring him back and, and take less of a penalty with that regard. Again, I know he's immortal. I haven't forgotten that. But sometimes, especially against like Division H, they've got weapons that can kill us instantly. I would rather get Santa back up on his feet when he can reverse time and resurrect more people more frequently than Arctic, who can basically only do one, and then she's knocked out for like a week. So it's not. It, it it's just a, she is the backup net for Santa, Miss Joris. This is this is getting a bit sweaty. Do something funny, Christmas Joris. 
For God's sake, do anything. Oh, mana sense. What the fuck is that? <laughs> he learns faster. <laughs> what? We fed him like a big brain fruit. That's incredible. Thank you, jo you've, you've done it. I asked Christmas Jarvis to make me laugh, and my god, he always comes through, doesn't he? So out of everything, the Crucible is the most powerful weapon. We know that anyway. Uh, I like the idea of having a chainsaw. I don't want to I, I just have like four Crucible weapons, which are obviously massively overpowered by design. I, I want the chainsaw. How do I craft the, the chainsaw? Is it here? Uh, ah, oh, there it is. Beaver Tooth Pain Saw. Right, what do we, what do we need for that? Oh, just 50 steel. 50 steel, five components, and it's uh, like a disturbingly overpowered weapon. Fuck. Oh, to be fair, it's 8,000 work. That's an okay way to balance it, I guess. Well, I think, let's go back to the, the plan I had. Remember, like, uh, last episode at the very start when I said, we're going to take back control of the campaign, we're going to get back on track with Christmas, start delivering presents with Santa, more importantly, start preparing the end game where we start draining the biomes of their energy, and then I got given 30 colonists or whatever it was. Well, that's coming back. We're going to start prepping the ship for launch. Uh, we need a little more, more chem fuel, but I don't want to go too nuts with it because they just drain it from here basically infinitely. Let's go ahead and get some chem fuel out of the system because I assume we've got plenty. Oh, yeah, we've got thousands and thousands of liters. Get the ship stocked up. Can we put a stat limit on this? Can we say like five? Oh, it doesn't stop it, though. It just keeps spitting it out. Okay, fair enough. Drain like a thousand chem fuel out of the system. And let's go ahead and turn this damn thing off after that because we don't want too much here. Bit of a hazard given that the stockpile has burnt down what, like three times this fucking series? Let's get Santa's sleigh fully loaded and ready to go. It's also been pointed out to me, and this is something I definitely want to see as soon as possible. Uh, why is that? Oh, you need... Oh, shit, you need compact weaponry to get poison synthesis. I mean, I have compact weaponry, so it's just been... So the whole research has been stalled. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Sometimes, research pal, I think you are one of the coolest mods for Rimworld. And then other times, you really just make me... I look, it shows the research has been like almost done as well. God, that's frustrating. All right, fucking clear the whole list. I'll set it up fresh. What I was gonna say is it's been pointed out to me that one of the um SRTS, I want to say, I might be wrong there. Uh, you know, the spaceship mod, one of the early versions of these ships is a is a bomber, uh, as in you can load it with anything that can fire out of a mortar and it can essentially do a strafe with somebody in it to bomb an area. Um, I think the albatross is one of them. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm more than happy to to get a uh, another Santa sleigh. Uh, this one spelled S L A Y rather than the regular version, and just load it full of like nuclear bombs, and maybe just do a strafe and run over over some of our mortal enemies. Who are our mortal enemies in the world right now? Do really we have any mortal enemies? They've all kind of they're all really minding their own business, aren't they? Oh look, they've done exactly what we thought they would do. They've bridged over it. Oh, that's really cool. So now we can get to Division H. Division P. They were called Division H, I think, in the Robo Daddy series. I thought that was just the name of the faction. I'll be honest, I want to destroy these fungus people because I fucking hate them. I don't want to look at them. I don't want to see them. They're vile and they upset me. And also the cat girls too. That would be incredible if we go and do... <laughs> it occurred to me what I'm saying as I was saying it. I'm going to get Santa to go and nuke a bunch of cat girls. So that we've got the only cat girl in existence because then she's a rare breed. Those were the words that I was going to say. And then I realized how fucking stupid that was. Welcome to RimWorld. Let's leave it there for today because, my God, I've been recording for, uh, like five hours now. And I've still got three other edited videos, uh, on top of this one to get out by tomorrow. Um... God have mercy. Thank you all for watching. And more importantly, a big thank you, of course, to the patrons. Don't forget to throw me your mods. I want some chaos. I need some chaos. I need something weird and wacky and strange in this mod pack to distract us from all of this sweaty rim world we've had today. I'm going to apologize to the patrons. I told them yesterday I would reset the list. Look, I wasn't expecting this episode to go on for five hours, I'll be honest with you. Um, so it's, it's, it's caught me unawares. But I will give a thank you to Ice Wolf, Ice Stab Cows, Poseidon Seen, German Hammer, Siala, Jack Black Sheep, Goat Father, Oliver, Scans, Dranmere, Slow King 1710, Tremere Regent, Cat, Other Guy 39, and Corrupt Racer as well for their support. The executive producers on Patreon. Thank you, everybody. Sorry, I'm losing my ability to talk here, but thank you, everybody over there. I will wake up early. 
um, specifically to to get these lists done. I'll, I'll I'll set an alarm and I will get up and make sure that this is this is set up. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's the state that we've got to here. Thank you as well to thanks for the loan, Bojo, Sam Haruni, Flom, Mr. Awesome, Lanath, Alex Schultz, Lilac, Atreus Sen, Lady Cerulean, Blue Chaos, and everybody, of course, over at Patreon. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for being patient for th with this episode, I should say, because my God, this has been, for me, a, a slog. Hopefully, I can save it in the edit. <laughs>